Hey what's up guys, welcome to today's video. It's the what's on my phone video that I'm going to do today. And I've actually, I don't think I've ever seen a what's on my phone video, so I'm not exactly sure what people do. But I guess you just show what's on your phone and that's super exciting for you to watch apparently. So I hope you guys enjoy seeing all the interesting stuff that is on my phone today. So first off we have my cover from society6.com and excuse the table, I just cleaned it, but it's black, so it's annoying. Um, my background is a picture of this pretty guy, and don't look at my code. Okay, so let's get started. Up top to the left I have my Natural Cycles app, which I never use. I was going to start using it, but I changed my mind. If you don't know what it is, you should probably Google it. Could be good, I guess. Um, then we have my calendar and my picture folder. And here I have my photos and stuff to edit pictures with, but I rarely use them anymore since Instagram has gotten really advanced and I don't really need to use it. So that's amazing. Uh, then we have my uh, camera, which is used very often, I think. Hello. Next we have my YouTube folder where I have the studio YouTube app for creators where you can kind of see the stats and you can see the most recent comments and stuff like that. So that's super useful for me, I check that all the time. And I also have the regular YouTube app there. Then we have stocks, maps, weather, apps I don't really use. And then we have Instagram, uh, fuck yeah. One of my favorite apps, I think. I just love Instagram so much. It's amazing. And then we have my finance folder where I have stuff to like pay bills and transfer money to people and PayPal and Tink, which is a great app if you're into budgets and stuff. And Skatteverket, which is great if you're in Sweden and have a company. Then we have Tumblr. And this app has gotten so much better recently. Like. You guys have no idea if you didn't have it at the start. <laughs> Here we have my travel folder for like bus schedules and stuff with different cities I've lived in and train schedules and just stuff like that that's very useful. And here we have my clock and all my alarms that I never use anymore because I work from home and I can sleep as long as I like. <laughs> We have my calculator and then the music folder where I have Spotify and podcasts, SoundCloud. And we have the opinion app, which is great if you make podcasts. And also Shazam, very useful if you don't know the song that's playing. We have my general settings and then we have my communication apps. Uh, What's up Skype now, which is amazing for the platform I blog on. Their app is really useful, very easy to use. If you want to start blogging, I really recommend No or Now or whatever. Snapchat, LinkedIn, and Pinterest I have as well. I have my notes and pages where I keep track of everything that goes on on my Facebook page. And that's very useful as well because I, I just love keeping up to date with what you guys are doing. I have the Messenger iMessenger, or messages, Chrome, App Store, and Facebook. And as you can see, I stay quite close to the default layout, but recently I've gotten a little bit cray-cray with it, uh, with the, all the folders and stuff. I haven't had that before. And down here I have the apps that I like use most often, kinda, not really, but anyway. Um, here we have Twitter, which is great as well. I you try to use Twitter as much as possible. Um, and here we have a tweet that made me very happy yesterday. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty cool, I guess. Um, so on the next page we have pretty boring apps, which is why they're on the next page. Um, this is not supposed to be here, it's supposed to be in the game folder. Um, so firstly we have extras. It's basically apps that I really never use. <laughs> They're completely useless. Or well, maybe not useless, but I rarely use them. And then we have another folder with extras that I never use. And then we have the health, or well, health. I wouldn't call it health. Um, but health stuff. And then we have the games. And these are not games. Rev, Schnapps are not games. The 2048 app is crazy. If you guys have like completed that game, let me know. Uh, and I also play Russell sometimes when I'm bored. And here we have another health folder, but 
it's not really health. I mean, it's noise apps that I have to play when I'm trying to go to sleep, and uh, I can't because uh, someone is uh, making some noise. <laughs> so those noise apps really help me. And this is all I have on my phone. It's not really that much stuff. Um, but yeah. And I'm pretty kinda OCD about keeping all my notifications all checked and stuff. I guess not on like LinkedIn and the podcast, but usually I'm pretty OCD about that. Um, I also have Snapchat. Let's see if anything interesting has happened. Doesn't look like it. Um, follow me there if you want boring updates of my life. <laughs> um, yeah, that's uh, Snapchat for you. And that's all the stuff I have on my phone. So that was all the stuff that's on my phone. Not very exciting. I don't play a lot of games, as you can see. Um, mostly just uh, like utilities and stuff. Switch of the day is phone or telephone, I would say. Uh, Switch of the telephone is telephone! Yay! Just pronounced slightly differently and spelled without the ph. Hope you guys liked this video. Give it a thumb up if y'all did. Also, comment below what's your favorite app. I want to know. Just comment below. Tell me. Uh, don't forget to subscribe and check out my links below to keep up to date on everything that I do. Until next time, have a super duper good one and I will see you guys later.